I do not feel like coming along to things. I've just realized the micro uh, microphone, the microwave is going on in the background. And it's going to beep and the microphone's going, probably going to pick it up and it's just going to be terrible all around. I started the stream too soon. My god. Hello everybody. Welcome to more bug fables. Here and see. Perfect. Levels are good. Wonderful. I fiddled with them a bit when I was doing the um, bonus recording the other day, which is why there's a file here. Uh, if you haven't seen the bonus recording, which is on YouTube, um, just search for Miss Marie Plays. Uh, don't worry about it. Really, don't don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry about beep. I'm always going to worry about beep. So, um, I did the Cave of Trials last time, which was most of all last time. I also did a bonus recording with the bonus boss there. Um, I put four tangy berries in my inventory like a smart person, finally. Um, so now we have some extra content to take care of. So on my quest list here we have Rebecca, who is just up ahead in the Ant Kingdom. Um, we have to go to the Deadlands for Roy here, which I don't know why that's a funny name for a roach, it just is. Um, and then we have Team Slacker, who I believe are in uh, the Shades Club. Um, and are also apparently really hard. So maybe while I have a full inventory, I can go take care of them. Sure. Hey, Oak! Yeah, something about Roy the Roach is funny to me. I want the spy specs on. I mean, I guess I don't have to. I can burn a turn. And I can check the rest of the, the title dialogue after, but... Roach... That just that doesn't sound good. It's like a noise you would make when you're punched in the old Adam West Batman show. Boy, it's a party down here. Boy, sir, you're just taking up the whole camera. Hey. Ladybugs are free to roam the Ant Kingdom now. The Queen has my gratitude. Even so, I've gotten used to this place. I hope she won't mind. So we're never gonna know why ladybugs are banned, huh? The queen's earned a lot of respect since dealing with the Wasp King. She's mellowed out. I hope she can rest easy with the sapling gone. You still hate your job, huh? Good old berry juice? No thanks, my partner. What, what accent are we doing here? Okay. Hey. <laughs> Figured you'd take the quest. You've come to entertain us. If Doppel won't mind a broken table or two. Loser pays the repairs! <laughs> Isn't everyone being a bit too eager for violence? Kaboo, you've been with this team for how long now? And you're surprised we're eager for violence? Come on. Hey, it's just banter. Although I do agree with Loser paying for repairs. Just holler when you're ready to fight, all right? I think we're good. I think we're kitted out. I did some metal reshuffling. Just want to say how incongruous Kaboo's menu portrait is with half his face in shadow and one narrowed eye. He's the softest boy, but he looks like a villain. That's what's so deceptive about him. I wasn't expecting him to be so cute. Ready to go? They're dear comrades, but we won't hold back. Eh, sure, it's fine, right? Sure. Very well. I've been waiting to let loose! Goodness. You like it when characters pleasantly surprise you like that? Yeah! This whole team, really. Oh boy, so there's... Oh, I didn't put me in the front. That's fine, I can do it now. I wonder who to kill first. Usually you want to kill the support first, but I feel like... The big fella... What's your name? Stratos. Stratos has some nasty AoE, so... We'll find out. Um, let's see. Uh, first I'm gonna have Kaboot taunt. Bar fight! Bar fight! Um, let's have Leaf Spy so we know what we're dealing with. I'll have to do this again? We underestimated them. What a shame that they didn't use this power to help us stop the Wasp King. Stratos can fire shockwaves from sheer strength. It's not even magic. What a guy. Oh, good. Three defense! Ugh. That sucks. Uh, oh, wait. There was a medal I wanted to equip. Dang it. 
I didn't equip it. I don't think. Oh, I can leave. Hang on. Ha! Huh, this is a really anticlimactic start. No! The bill! Ugh, that's gonna cost us. What power? No wonder they can afford to slack. What do you mean, what power? That was fun. Let's do it again sometime. <clears throat> Why am I getting the lose dialogue? Look, no, I bought a new medal. And I forgot it existed. Um, where is it? Hard charge. I want to put this on V. Um, and I just totally forgot about it until now. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Sorry, everybody. Okay. Uh, what am I going to take off? I'll take off an HP core. Um, that was a great start to everything. Okay, now let's do this. The ultimate character you did a 180 on is Gruz from Skyward Sword. He went from, I hate this guy, to I love this guy and I want to protect him. Yeah, Gruz... Gruz was very surprising. He also has a really fun theme song, you know. Wah, 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 wah. It just... It's got such a fun, total goofus tone to it. Yeah, we got the dialogue. So you know what? I was just... Being thorough. Plus, now we can have Leaf uh, spy on Delilah, which was my plan all along. So, I saw an excerpt from the art book, which is currently only going out to backers of the game only, which is a shame, but apparently these two were based on um, a previous game concept the devs had and scrapped. Uh, Stratos was a lizard and Delilah a jellyfish. So they made her a mosquito because stinging. I don't know how a lizard and a jellyfish would come to hang out, but I guess only the devs can tell us that. Items, bombs, and speed. Delilah is more resourceful than we anticipated. Losing access to her items would be awful. We should probably incapacitate her first. Alright. Well, that's good to know. Okay, let's have her use... Hard charge. Cool. All right, donut is here. I'm doing nothing. Ah, cripes. Oh no, I was not ready for that at all. Goodness gracious. Oh, we're gonna have to do something about Kabu there. Leaf needs a toad mushroom cap. I already drew that. I just somebody can mod it in, maybe. That would be fun. Thinking about what I want to do here. Donut is helping by being cute. Groose's theme reminds you of the bulk and skull theme from Power Rangers. Not so much the tune, but in terms of dopey theme that accompanies harmless bullies. Boy, I haven't thought about uh, Power Rangers in uh, a long time. I remember my parents what's up uh, no, that is what I wanted to do. my parents barred me from watching it um because it was too violent I remember there being like newspaper articles at the time um saying uh how like it incites violence in children or something like that um you know because people are mimicking these uh tokusatsu shows what are you doing what are you doing charge. Um, I think I'm gonna have Leaf maybe use Bubble Shield Light on Kaboo just to buy me some time here. Haven't thought about Power Rangers since fighting the Axum Rangers. Memories. Uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to taunt. Gotta focus. Stratos hits with a sword instead of his big horn. You're right! I mean, why? You got a weapon right there. Or is it just for the aesthetic? Okay, I'm gonna change to this ribbon for now. Oh, wow. Okay, now I know he does that. Stop that. Wait, maybe I should just have, like, Kabo and Leaf back and forth, uh, bubble shield. And V can just try and knock these guys down. 
And we're gonna need to uh, restore our TP at some point, but. You watched Power Rangers obsessively until you went to public school and got made fun of it for watching, so you stopped permanently. Ugh, man, kids are jerks. What up for being bullied for having unusual interest club? I feel like that's probably a fairly relatable feeling, especially in this circle. Gosh, what did I get made fun of? Pokemon was a big one. Might as well learn the block timing. What are you... Whoa, whoa, slow down, Donkey Kong. <laughs> wow, I'm really glad I used the uh, the bubble shield there. Um, otherwise, things would have gone really south. It's funny because you remember years later, people your age were like, heck yeah, Power Rangers. Oh yeah, no, Pokemon was like that. Um, when Pokemon was really big in, um, uh, gosh, when was it really big? I'm gonna say when I was in sixth grade was about when it came out, not to date myself. Um, and, uh, sorry, I'm trying to make sure I do my turns correctly here. Um, and so it was really popular to the point where, you know, like, Pokemon got banned, like, the cards were banned and all that. Um, and, uh, then in, like, oh, yeah, sorry, it was fifth grade. Fifth grade. And I remember in sixth grade next year getting bullied incessantly for liking Pokemon. Can you stop? Is that a jam and jelly? Um, so it's just weird how things have changed so drastically in such a short span of time. You're mostly teased to your weight and not having a father. Why would someone tease a person for not having a father? Ugh. Ugh. People find the weirdest things to just fixate on. I'm incensed. Leave Don alone, you monsters. That's not the block timing. Yeah, peer pressure is dumb. Even, like, as recently as, um, the first... <sighs> I forgot I put this in my inventory so I could use it on somebody, and I haven't used it yet. I feel like now is not a good time. Um... Uh... Actually, I might use a stew so I can use hard char... Uh, no, I should probably just do the full heal. Um... So I remember, like, as recently as the first store I worked at a few years ago, being made fun of for liking Pokemon. Like, one of my coworkers said that, oh yeah, oh, I love Pokemon, I played it all the time. Um, but then realized that I was, like, they were a very sort of casual Fairweather fan, and I was much more into it than they were, and that became a point of ridicule. Look, man, I like... I like making friends with these cute monsters, okay? Ow. Oh, that's right. She's taking poison damage now. Well, that's good, though, because that boosts her attack even further, and that's what we really need right now. I suppose this isn't a very interesting fight since I'm cheesing it a little bit, but... Okay. To make sure to heal her at some point. Uh, but first, Kaboo and Leaf gotta keep doing their thing. I'm a little nervous to just let Kaboo take damage un uh, unblocked. I feel like if I screw up any more blocks, I would be heavily punished for it. That's a shame. She doesn't even do damage. Uh, doesn't even do damage, um, or rather, doesn't even restore TP when she bites, regardless of doing damage or not. It was a Christian school and your mom wasn't married, so you were obviously bad. Man, that's a just... Again, weird thing for kids to fixate on and mock someone over. Okay, I'm gonna heal so V doesn't freaking die. I would prefer V did not freaking die. Um, 
Uh, we'll just use a stew for now. That is not a stew. Donut is the you new baby Yoda? Come on, Donut's way cuter. Right? Elementary school. Pokemon! Middle school and high school. You actually like Pokemon? College. Pokemon! Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's kind of vindicating. You know, I'm just gonna switch Donut back to the, the pretty ribbon, because whatever. I like the pink better. Um... It's vindicating now that it's, uh, popular again. Um, it's just, again... I remember being made fun of because, like, oh, Pokemon's just a fad. It's never gonna last. And now, look, still going strong. Who's laughing now? Ha ha! Ha ha! Kids love to mock people over things they can't help. Because kids are cruel. Oh, kids will also mock people over things they can't help because kids are cruel. Joe, you just punch him. It's self-defense, of course. This is not me saying it. This is me reading the chat. If anybody is watching this later, I am not endorsing punching a child. I'm not even making the Mario RPG joke. I guess I kind of did by mentioning it, but... I think with all the healing I have to do to keep V up in this fight... Um, with the poison damage, it'd be hard charge. Probably I should put a, a stop on that for now. Plus, what if I have to go and cook more food? That takes so much time. Not really, but... Oh, Theta! Hey! But yeah, I haven't had said hello to Rifam either. Where are my manners? Goodness. Welcome to you both. Um, so I mentioned at the start... Um, but, uh, so I did go back and do the Cave of Trials off-stream and recorded the 51st encounter. Um, so I did put that on YouTube. Um, if you're watching this on Twitch, uh, there should be a link to my YouTube channel beneath, uh, the video here. Um, or if it's not, just look for, um, the channel Miss Mori Plays. Diss me. It'll be part question marks. The, a picture of Tanji is the one you want. So I did that, and I showed off um, the thing you get for doing it, for lack of a better word, in probably the worst way imaginable, to the point where I'm kind of embarrassed at myself for it. But hey, it's there if you want it. I could put the life region on her, it counts out the poison. Do you mean the, um, the poison, the regeneration badge? Or is it the, uh, her sharing stash? I suppose I could do that too, huh? That would be a bad idea. I'm just hoping I don't run out of TP before the end of all this. Yeah, why don't I use sharing stash here? Why not? This chat does not constitute legal advice. Please consult your lawyer before punching any children. Truer words have never been spoken. If I can ace attorney post for a second, I bet Manfred von Karma has punched a child. If we're sorting characters into would and would not punch a child. Would punch Manfred von Karma, Mario. How do you clip stuff? Um, I think there's a button on the video somewhere. And you can do it after the stream is over, too. I've done that. What are you clipping? I'm curious now. Um, do I want to bother with hard charge? Or I should hit this guy for now. Your legal advice is to pile drive people. That's fair. I would also recommend a suplex. Really running out of TP here. Uh, I don't want to have to use a TP restore video. I like the composer is just grooving in the background. Uh, Tristan, I think? Props for this really cool final boss theme, which we're not hearing right now. I mean, but the 
final boss team from earlier in the game. It was really good stuff. Oh, I can't use sharing stash because it cures poison. I didn't really sh I thought, like, uh, um, her secret stash would cure poison, but not sharing stash, but I guess I just totally overlooked that facet of it, which sounds a lot like me. One of the things from the AMA you were classically oblivious to is that Buse's husband is Hawk. Yeah, I meant to say that. After I read the AMA, I realized, oh, that's why Hawk was standing next to Muse and her family on the bridge, and she talked. Uh, her um, father talked about Muse's husband uh, working at the lab in the hive. It just it finally clicked. Reading the chat. Whoa! Shouldn't have read the chat. Oh boy. I thought I didn't. I didn't have to look. The name Tangy makes you think of Tangy from Animal Crossing because that's how you pronounce your name. Oh, and then I say it Tangy. Well, that's not good. <sighs> I have to burn an item. That's what these miracle shakes are for. Yeah, I like to think he's somehow playing this music that we're listening to now on his lute. Which would be kind of hilarious. Oh boy, and now we're almost out of TP. And I don't have that hard charge anymore. Uh. No. Oh, I can use the berry smoothie. It's just. Mm. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna turn relay to leaf. I'm gonna have him use. Do I want him to use the full bubble shield? Now I'm gonna have Kabutan and then just hope that he doesn't kill us. In New Horizons, Tangy's model has a belly button um, that you can see if you have her wear certain outfits. It's specifically designed to look like an orange's navel. That's cute. Oh no! He did it again! Heck! You can make me use another miracle shake, you dirtbag. Oh, cripes. Okay. Maybe I should have him use, like, the big bubble shield. Um, have V use hard charge. So I gotta finish this guy up quick. Before we just run out of resources. I know this is gonna eat up Leaf's turn. Maybe we can kill him before then. Did Leaf realize it? You're so completely oblivious, you wouldn't even have noticed that. I don't know! If he did realize that Hawk was Muse's husband, he didn't men mention it. At least it was just seven. If it was a full heal, I would have been very disappointed. Stop, 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 stop! Animal Crossing, you're all about Lolly the Tabby Cat. Lolly's cute! I have never had Lolly, but I've seen her on a friend's island before. Could you get away with having an entire town of food-themed villagers? I think so. I feel like I tried counting out in my head once. Okay. Well, V is not going to be able to kill both of them. But, uh... I can at least take out Stratos, and maybe we'll just hope that Delilah doesn't kill us. Wouldn't that be tragic? Oh, hey, Chompy can do something. I mean, Donut, sorry. Ah, oh, stop! Oh, cripe, stop! And she disabled our items? Oh my god, I'm gonna freaking die here. Seriously? Uh. Ice rain and heavy throw kills. Ha, huh. if I could use ice rain and heavy throw. Oh, here we go. Oof. You know, I'm gonna have him use the, uh... Okay, it's just Kaboo that has his items disabled, I see. I was worried it was a party-wide thing. <sighs> Do I want to use Bubble Shield Light? Because I'm worried they're just gonna chump us both again. 
And I think Kabu can turn Relay to V. His coconut gun can fire in spurts. If she shoots you, it's gonna hurt a lot. What is her gun made of, actually? Why do you have this technology, Delilah? <laughs> I could probably recite the entire DK rap from memory, which I'm not going to do, because I am kind like that, and I will spare you from it, but I could. Does anybody else have that moment when they first played Donkey Kong 64? in a DK rap when they said Chunky is- this Kong is one hell of a guy and just went, <gasps> Can they say that? There we go. Ice Rain was a plus three. Well, we're alive. That's the important thing. <laughs> As expected of those who beat up the Wasp King. Oh, I was really hoping we'd win, you know. You're pretty good. We can go again anytime. Not anytime. Let's rest a bit. Time to pick up the tab. Oh, you can have this too. Thanks. Thanks for the fun time. Huh. <sighs> Let's see, I'm with Kabo. Let's not do that again. It is time for Team Maki. Ah, <sighs> but of course I have to um Hey there, Delilah. What the heck? I don't remember how that song goes, otherwise I would uh, do it properly. You definitely had that reaction, and you were like, I can't let my parents know. I can't remember if I thought I can't let my parents know, but my parents wouldn't care. They let me play Conker's Bed for a day. Oh, it's something I want to do. Although, I think I just asked my dad, hey, there's this game I want to play, but it's rated M. He's like, oh, whatever. Okay, um, I'm gonna make some more... Do I have any more dark cherries? No. Uh. Yeah, okay, I've only got the one tangy berry here. Um, I'm gonna have to get more dark cherries. I'm gonna have to get uh, a couple more miracle seeds out of storage. Wow, that people think hell is a swear word. It was a different time. A friend of yours was not allowed to watch the rap because of the language. The same DK rap. Are you sure you want that, Oak? I think you'd have to fight everybody else. Because I don't think everyone will want to hear it. Okay, there's a couple dark cherries. Um, let's see. Fair warning about Team Maki, the order you kill them matters. Huh. I feel like my gut says if you kill Maki first, Kina will just go berserk and shred you. It amused you how Melee, a T-rated game, changed it to heck. Yeah, I remember hearing that and going, really? Okay, so I've got for smoothie. Um, maybe I'll get another one. Let's see. Uh, I can do maybe... Let's get two smoothies, so I'll need two cherries for that, and maybe three miracle drinks. So I'll need uh, two more dark cherries. Okay. The DK rap is going to be the last thing you hear in your deathbed as you drift off into a oblivion. See, my gut says the last thing you would hear would be um, the death chamber music from Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> I don't know why, that's my gut reaction, but there you go. Um, okay. Which one do I have? 14. Well, let's make a berry smoothie now, just to clear up some space. Before we beat Maki, can we, re we react to the advanced DK rap by Jonochrome first? I don't know who that is. Please explain this advanced DK rap. Alternatively, it could be All Star by Smash Mouth. I can't, I can't deal with that song. It's like, okay, you know, Neil Cicerega's mouth albums? Um, even though I think he's a musical genius, some of those songs I just, I can't deal with because their basis are meme songs that I find obnoxious, personally. Is there anything I want here? Makes enemies unable to steal items and fleeing won't drop berries. Wow, I could use that. 
a while ago. Huh. Maybe someday I'll buy all the, uh, the medals. Not right now. Oh, hey, Rocket. You don't remember what happens if you kill Maki or Kina first, but you remember what happens if you kill Yin first. Oh, yeah! She's gonna be there, too. What happens if you kill Yin first? I did a little bit of the Termicade, um, briefly, like, just before stream started. So, I didn't optimize Might Knight. I got, like, 7,000 with it, but I did get a high score on Flower Journey. I just, I just tried once, and I think got, like, a 26 combo of flowers and said, okay, I'm good. She does have some additional dialogue, though. Wow! You've beat a high score, huh? You're a real gamer! I wonder if you can beat the other game's high score, too. Confirmed, I am a real gamer. Heavy air quotes. How many berries do I have? Um, so, let's see. I need... I need one more tangy berry. And then three miracle seeds. Okay. See, there's a tangy berry I could just go get at the entrance of the cave. Do I have any more miracle seeds in storage? I've got one. I guess I'm gonna have to get more. Hot take, one week is an incredibly obnoxious song and you don't like it. Oh, I hate that song. I hate it. I think the Bare Naked Ladies are Canadian, so I'm sorry. No shade if you like them, or that song. I respect you and your decision. I just personally do not. All Digimon fans have to have All-Star memorized. It's the law. Oh my god. Theta, I thought I repressed that. Ugh. The advanced DK rap is basically the DK rap but expanded on. Also, it's Twitch friendly. I assume when you say Twitch friendly, you mean it won't be content claimed, but it's kind of funny to imagine that, um, I'm just gonna store these temporarily so I've got room for the, uh, the, uh, miracle seeds that I need. Um, but it's, it's funny to imagine that it's Twitch friendly because they don't say hell anymore or something. I think I can buy, what, uh, these seeds in the Golden Settlement, maybe? Is Chubby still performing in the play? If you play the wrong song, Twitch deletes your channel completely. That scene in the Digimon movie is great. I don't know what you're talking about. I just, I forgot about the fact they had Smash Mouth on the soundtrack. My god. I'm pretty sure. Is your dialogue any different now that we're heroes? No. Ah, uh, Chubby, you're so cute. Please do a quest with us again or something. Um, so let's see. There's a. I know there's a tangy berry I left at the entrance to the cave. How nice of it to just sit there and not despawn. Hi, snail. Um, and then, oh, I can get miracle seeds here. Perfect. Or magic seeds, whatever they're called. Dubious dewdrops. It always strikes you as odd that people call All-Star the Shrek song when that song was very well known before Shrek. Yeah, but I feel like it was even bigger after Shrek, especially after people associated one with the other. Um, I remember in elementary school, some do you mind somebody started talking about Smash Mouth in class? And I said... I don't know who they are, and a bunch of people made fun of me, like, What do you mean you don't know who Smash Mouth are? The best, best artist ever! Like, well, okay, okay, sorry. What is a C or an O? The advanced DK rap playing it? I don't have, I don't want to risk opening my browser and making things chuggy. Besides, don't you want to hear my rendition of the DK rap? I say that I'm not doing it. Do you mind? You don't associate All Star with Shrek. You associate it with the villain dancing to it in Digimon. That's a galaxy brain take, Theta. Respect. Don't appreciate our refined and cultured 90s taste. Or early thousands. No, it was definitely 90s. No, we're not doing the cave again, don't worry. It was originally used in Mystery Men, a movie that embarrassingly traumatized you. Was that the movie I feel like I only saw it once? Did, like, some guy have, like, a... Like a bowling ball with a skull in it, or am I just thinking of something else? Or just otherwise completely off my rocker? I could be completely off my rocker. 
You have to say hello to the hologram now and then, it's kind of sad otherwise. Do you think the holograms have feelings? Hmm? Tangentially related, the Shrek 2 cover of I Need a Hero Best Song to Fantasize About OCs 2. I don't think I like listening to that song outside of that movie, but... So the lady that voices the fairy godmother in Shrek 2, uh, Jennifer Saunders, um, I knew her because she stars in a show that my mom really liked, a uh, British comedy. That? Okay. Oh, when did that happen? I'm gonna have to cut that out, huh? Not the mic! Haha, <laughs> so, um, it's probably really loud now. If it's really loud, let me know. I'm gonna turn it down, because I can see my volume mixer peaking. <laughs> no, no, it's, um, my microphone, unfortunately, is old, so sometimes something happens with the connection. Uh, yeah, so I just switched the onboard microphone for now. Did I make my smoothie? I got so distracted. I didn't. It's talking about the actress in the English comedy. Oh, yeah, uh... So Jennifer Saunders is an absolutely fabulous, which my mom really liked. Um, so the character she played was a total dirtbag who hung out with her other total dirtbag friends and just drank a lot of champagne and just wreaked havoc. Um, very much an acquired taste because the characters themselves are very acerbic and like deliberately unlikable. But I've seen a lot of that show just like on my periphery. So whenever somebody mentions that, <laughs> uh, obviously my microphone didn't want me to share forbidden British comedy secrets. Um, but uh, whenever people talk about the brand of sparkling water called, apparently people pronounce it La Croix, but the French is La Croix, and it makes me think of absolutely fabulous because the designer brand that the main character that Jennifer Saunders played, that was, uh, uh, who, uh, what she, who she was, okay, the character that she played, the fashion brand that she was obsessed with was called La Croix. It's all a scam to make people buy my microphones. This is a nice microphone. It's just, anyway, Team Maki, let's do this. I just saved right. Oh, I meant to take my, um, ugh, the Queen's dinner is out of storage. Ugh. If you talk about Bunny and Manders, the Mounties busted? What, what, what? You make me talk about raffles? I would talk about raffles. I don't think people would want to hear me talk about raffles. Why, all this stuff in here that I'm not using. Terrible. I saw some footage of somebody fighting the, um, the boss of the hive, that bee robot that I forget the name of. Um, and they got it down to one health, but everybody but Leaf was dead, and Leaf had one hit point left. And it was floating, and they had no TP, so they're like, Oh, jeez, I can't... I can't beat this thing now. And then they realized they had a hard nut in their inventory, and just threw it at the bee and killed it. Bless. You have no idea what Yin does besides buffs. So, I should not defeat Yin first? Is that what happens? Hello, Yin. Go Good morning! Thanks for help. You're welcome. Yin's such a good girl. Must we fight her? She's gotta learn somewhere. She radiates magic, too. She won't be a pushover. Even though she's so young? Wow, V. And you're not wrong. She's gotta learn. You killed her immediately since you assumed she had super healing and revives, right? You always defeat the, the wizard first. Seems Kina and Maki finally stopped splitting up. And she doesn't make the scary faces anymore. I'm still relieved nothing happened to Maki in the far grasslands. The massive guilt aside, Kina would have... Oh yeah, no, look at that face. Yin's not that annoying when you can understand her. Don't tell her I said that! Right, jeez, relax. Getting to fight Sir Maki is the greatest of honors! 
Especially after that test of his. We missed that test. What was it? Sumaki took both V and I on his own, without breaking a sweat. And then he just said, you pass. Ugh. Hmm. It's payback time then. We'll support you. You think Kina self-revives and buffs herself if you kill her, then Yin. Okay, so I guess Kina goes ham, so what's the order I should be striving for here? I kind of want to do some metal shuffling just so I can uh, um, do the I Spy thing. wondering because when I did the cave I had I didn't do all this because I wanted longevity so I did a lot of TP up instead um, thinking about it here so I might want a little more longevity since this fight might drag on the three of them okay. no I don't want it on the boo Can we get a Nebo? Like, you mean, Nebo! Nebo! That? No, I don't want to quit medals, I want this. Mm, let's see, let's see. I'm thinking very hard about this. <laughs> I want to put Berserker on B. No, I won't, but it's funny to think about. Mm. I wonder if one HP core and B also would go amiss. Just because uh having her You think you went Yin Kina Maki. Maki buffs her uh, himself if you beat Yin, but the healer always gotta go. That's right, you gotta kill the baby first. One winged angel, but instead of Sephiroth, it's fluffy moth. I don't remember the Latin, otherwise I would sing the whole thing. Um Put on some TP plus. Um, I think I'm gonna take. Oh, I've only got the one HP core. Now I'll keep it on Kaboo. Um, and then I will put on Spy Specs. Okay, there we go. It's probably bad. Maki and Kina have a team attack. Perfectly. Did I say perfectly? I meant, I meant perfect. A bros move, if you will. A siblings move? Veni, 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 yes, name mori fascia. Like that. Sorry, that was tuneless. Anyway, uh, sure. Ah, uh, you came. Let me thank you for your help once more. You've helped us plenty. Let's say we're even. You mentioned sparring back in the far grasslands. One must face worthy opponents, or become rusty. It'd be an honor to face Team Snake Mouse Might. <laughs> you sure you want to fight? We took down the Wasp King, you know. So what? It's true that I wasn't lucky enough to hold a flame brooch. <laughs> Did she hurt your ego? Everyone, this is a friendly sparring match. Yes, a friendly sparring match. Let me know when you're prepared for it. It's fine, Kaboo. Would you like to spar? Be careful, though. We won't hold back. What? Oh, Mori? Like the streamer? Yo, you like her streams. Well, thank you. Let us begin. Be on guard. By the way, if the volume needs to be adjusted because I'm using the inbound mic, let me know. Ugh. Oh boy. Well, I mean, at least not all of their defenses are as robust as Stratos. So this is the true power of Maki's team. No, with Yin's magic, they've grown even stronger. Yin's supportive abilities make her a priority. Even if her defeat may upset Maki greatly. We're just gonna spy on everybody now, so deal with it. The bonds between Maki and Kina are true indeed. 
they fight perfectly coordinated. There's too much pressure. We must super block a fear to endure this battle. Don't say the names of game mechanics out loud, it's weird. Sir Maki, thank you for everything you've done for us. Even the sparring match. We will rise to your challenge. Kina reacts poorly to her brother being hurt, and Yin keeps supporting him. Tough decisions await us. Mori's got so many Latin fans that made her part of the language. Ha! <laughs> ha! Okay, um, I'm gonna shuffle Kaboo in the back, which is so uh, V is in the front. Time for V to spy. Hooray! It's time to show you how much we've grown since the test. Guys, when we hit Maki, Kina gets, like, super mad. Who should we target first? Well, maybe if you had, like, a hit, I'll attack me, but no. Whoa! I thought Kina was just getting carried by Maki all this time. She's super fast! It's gonna take some practice. But if we're gonna take this beating, then we've got a super block! He keeps saying that. Maybe I should have used Danger V, but eh, we'll see how this goes. How is she so strong? She's like, just barely an adult. Not stronger than me, though. She's got a lot of annoying magic and items. Sorry, Maki, but she's gonna go down. Alright. Almost done, everybody, and then we can get to the punching. We do respect you, but we weren't around to witness the birth of this rivalry. Still, we won't turn down an excuse to flex on magic. Both Kina and Yin support Maki in their own ways. We must choose our target carefully. Nope, baby dies first. Sorry, baby, gotta shoot you. Yikes. Why was Maki even worried about you? Your skills are something else. It'll take time to knock out one of them. We'll have to make our best effort to super block until then. Yeah, it's making me think I want to do Yin, uh, Kina, Maki. Be funny if Maki is actually the weakest member of this team. Poor thing. Barely out of the cocoon, and already fighting the best of the best. It's a little bit of an ego you got there, Leaf. We say that, but she's no pushover. Even if Maki gets mad, we must defeat her too. Sorry, I thought he was gonna say even if Maki gets defeated, but I was wrong! Okay, 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 okay. No, baby dies first. Sorry, baby, gotta shoot ya. Maybe I'll clip that after the stream. For, uh, for context. Okay, let's have you use hard charge. Gotta get rid of these fools fast. Mori is over, party, no! Uh, why does Maki have to be in the front? Oh, boy. Maybe I should just have Donut do nothing now. All right, all right, stop. There should be a Mori out of context compilation. Maybe if I get big enough, which is a strange thought to have, but hey, maybe somebody can do that. I know there's a Vine sauce out of context Twitter that I follow. Uh, maybe we can do me someday, but I don't want to get too big for my britches. It's still amateur hour. Okay, I'm just gonna have Donut do nothing. She's gonna contribute nothing. I don't want her to hurt her teeth. You think Kina does have more damage potential than Maki if you play this wrong? There's only one thing worse than a child. You want a Mori party if only for the mini games. Boy, maybe I should stream Mario Party again, huh? That would be fun. I really enjoyed doing that. Uh, for those who weren't here, my birthday was on November 17th. So I took a brief one-day break from Bug, uh, Bug Fables and did some Mario Party instead. Two and three. Not Mario Party 1. I'm not crazy. I mean, I played a lot of Mario Party 1 back in the day, but I'm not getting another blister. I had the blister, you better believe it. Ain't no party like a Mario party, because a Mario party has no items. Uh, it's true though, like you go to a Mario party, there's no, no, no refreshments, no snacks, no beverages, no games, no nothing. 
Mori only Final Destination. No items. Not to get ahead of ourselves, but do you have a post Bug Fable stream game lined up? Oh, what is that pose? Oh, Yin. I'm sorry. I want to go just give her a hug. She looks soft. Um. So what I want to do, and I feel like I'm going to jinx it if I say it. I'd like to try and do Thousand Year Door. Um, I might do like something short and more action oriented between it. We'll see. Uh, what I'm feeling. Um, but I know I've had a lot of requests for Thousand Year Door. I feel like it would be appropriate since I did the original Paper Mario. Mario Party 3 is so good. And I mean, hey, you can play as Waluigi. What's not the like, right? Um, I'm going to use a TP healing item at some point, but let's charge. You okay there, V? You're fine. Lock it off. This isn't a very interesting way to do this fight. Like, the constant shielding and guarding. I know when I did, um, the cave, not this, the cave off stream. You know, I did a lot better because I was a lot more focused, since I wasn't reading the chat half the time. Um, made much better use of turn relay. Because it was a lot of Kaboo taunting and, uh, V and Leaf. Um, mostly V. Would do stuff, and we'd often I'd often turn relay to her. Mm. I can't reach her with needle pincer. But I think I should get rid of Hina first. The healer must always die first. This is the rule. Okay. Sort of like the inverse of learning how to heal in Final Fantasy XIV, where you learn your healing priority is always yourself, and then the tank, and then the DPS, if you feel like it. I say that, I mean, I wouldn't let them die, but sometimes, sometimes they're asking for it. What's that? You're gonna go ahead and stab everything before the tank can pick it up? Oh, great. Good. I love it. Bowser's Inside Story and her partners in time is your vote. I would love to do Bowser's Inside Story. Um, Partners in Time was okay. Um, I was, I think, a little more ambivalent on it. Maybe Babies just wasn't my favorite mechanic. Um, okay, I'm thinking about what I want to do here. Um, I'm just gonna stew for now. All the sympathy drains! I'm sorry, Oak. I'm sorry. Look, I feel guilty about hurting Yin, too. I mean, look at that. I don't want to, you know, throw about the phrase, precious baby, but... Precious baby. It might not be exciting, but this method is so expensive. It is! My poor TP. I mean, it works, though. I wouldn't feel confident hitting all these blocks unless I was using a controller. Like, a super guarding or super blocking them. Um, I'm just- I'm more reliable at timing uh, controller hits better. Um, I haven't- she's already plus two, so maybe I'll hold off on the big buff for now. Um, actually, if I do that... Then I'm not gonna have enough for... Um... I'm gonna do this. Kabuton. I'm gonna have V heal our teamwork points. Partners in time just has some huge HP numbers. I don't remember it that well, honestly. I should. I feel like I started replaying it and I got like halfway through and then I got distracted by another game, as is unfortunately my habit now and then. I could have Donut using the blue ribbon for some TP management. See, I tried that on Stratos, though, and she doesn't seem to restore any TP if she's not doing damage. I also wish, change wish changing the ribbon was a free action. Because I found that out in the, uh, the Cave of Trials when I was doing all the encounters again off-stream. Um, that, uh, if you could switch 
It's so like, oh, an enemy only has two HP left and no defense. Um, I can switch to the uh, the teamwork ribbon and then have Donut finish it off and get another TP, but you can't. Um, so that eats up her turn, unfortunately. Leaf looking at Sad Yin, the SpongeBob meme with the SpongeBob's running in the burning office. You mean his brain? Where he forgets what his name is? Leaf was kind of fuzzy on his memories when he woke up, right? I think it's been so long now. It'd be funny if that also went on in his brain after he woke up from his, uh, let's say, comatose state. And just a bunch of leaves in his head running around going, Oh my god, what's her name? Oh, you had no idea it doesn't work if she does no damage. You never used a terrible reward. It's not a good reward, is it? It's like the game is just rubbing it in your face. Was that you wasted TP on the- or you wasted your time and effort to get this? I mean, there's also the ones from the arcade I could get, but... I don't feel like it. Is the plural for leaf leaves? <laughs> Partners in Time introduced us to all the baby characters. You actually don't mind the baby characters. I think... I want to say... Baby Luigi was first in Double Dash? Um, or sorry, no, Baby Luigi was first in, sorry, Yoshi's Island, what am I saying? He's just, you only see him at the end of the game, so it's, you know, you forget about Luigi existing again. Um, I think, yeah, it was, maybe it was for, like, the non-Mario and Luigi baby characters. Huh, I'm Bowser, I guess. I almost want to use... Leaf's turn to try and freeze Maki since he has uh, plus three. And if it doesn't work, well, I think Kabu could probably eat a hit for Maki, right? Let's try it. Nope. That wasn't really worth it. Oh well. Young Toadsworth was enjoyable. I wonder if we're gonna see Toadsworth again. Oh, you're just buffing yourself. Wow. Sir. And Baby Peach. Yeah, Yoshi's Island DS and Baby Peach and DK and Wario. My god, Baby Wario had the worst cry out of all of them. I can still hear it in my head. I didn't finish that game, and that was one of the reasons. I just found it increasingly unbearable. Yoshi's Island, like the original, I find. I, I like it. I played a lot of it. It's still my town tune in uh, New Horizons. I should change that. Um, maybe I'll make it something Bug Fables related. But it's a really stressful game to play, I think, just because it has unpleasant noises that I don't like, specifically getting hit and maybe Mario crying. I don't like games with loud, sudden noises. It stresses me out, you know? It's like they tried to one-up how annoying Baby Mario's cry was in the first game. I know I've read um, about the development and them saying that originally he didn't. Um, or rather he didn't cry, but then they found that players would just ignore him. Like, if you've seen the leaked uh, beta footage of it, um, he just kind of crawls around. Um... And of course, since he's not making any noise, you could just ignore him until the last second. So they made him as obnoxious as possible. So you would want to pick this baby up. Unfortunately. Okay. Um, next turn I'm going to heal, I think. Baby DK technically first showed in Donkey Kong Jr. I think it's... Donkey Kong Jr. was... Donkey Kong's son, not Baby Donkey Kong, because I believe the framing is... Boy, I'm getting way into, like, stupid nerd territory here. Uh, the framing is that the original Donkey Kong from the arcade is now Cranky Kong, and Donkey Kong Jr. from that is now 
actual Donkey Kong. I think. I might be getting that wrong. I have not, you know, researched Donkey Kong lore in a long time. You know, I was thinking if I got uh, a capture card. Because so I was looking at it. Um, even like the, I think cheapest, most reliable one I can get would be a hundred dollar reduce. But, um, I thought I could make everybody watch Donkey Kong Country 2 on the Switch. I mean, I could stream it on my computer too, emulate it, because I've done that before. Um, I did, uh, back on, in the live stream days, I did a 100% playthrough of Donkey Kong Country 2, because I love that game. I can always do it again. No way too much Mario lore. The only, I mean, I like to think I know a lot of miscellaneous Mario lore, but the champion is Supper Mario Broth, who I know I've talked about on stream before, but if you're not familiar with Supper Mario Broth, um, they've got both a Twitter and a Tumblr. Just lots of interesting little Mario facts and trivia and glitches and other things you might not be aware of. Sometimes phrased in a way that sounds mildly alarming to the point where you look at it and go, Supper Mario Broth, are you okay? Like, I know when I brought that up, somebody mentioned there was a post of theirs talking about, um, in Mario 64, when you shoot Mario out of a cannon, Mario's model is still in the cannon, and... Um, so they're shooting on something else, but they phrased it in a way that said, like, whatever is being shot out of the cannon, it is not Mario. I don't know, there's just something kind of alarming about that, you know? Baby DK and Yoshi's Island was confirmed to be Donkey Kong, not Cranky Kong. Oh yeah, no, that's different, though. Uh, Baby Donkey Kong is different from Donkey Kong Jr. I don't know. I don't really trust them to keep their own lore straight sometimes. Have you seen, it was like a couple years ago, someone had made a Mario timeline with all these branching paths that lead up into different things like the Mario Kart series. Oh my gosh, I just realized I put the bubble shield in the wrong person. Oh. oh. Wow. Embarrassing. Well, nobody died. That was um, profoundly silly. <laughs> It's like with the double cherry in Super Mario 3D World, how you can kill the real Mario and the clone still lives. I remember thinking about that while playing 3D Worlds and just wondering about the logistics of it all. For Lazy Stream Day, we play Super Meat Boy. I don't know if I'd call that a lazy stream game. I'd have to pay attention for that. And it would be hard to read the chat while doing something like Super Meat Boy, because I'd have to be so focused. I mean, even Hollow Knight... Um, I mean, I could read the chat for a lot of it, because, you know, I'm just exploring around, but... There were definitely parts where I had to get serious. Oh, bye. See ya! Yeah, Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. are inherited titles instead of names. Incredible! I must admit it. You're all incredibly strong. Bleh. I couldn't impress Maki. Is it good, Kina? You're strong too. Wow. It was our honor. I, I feel like we're truly equal explorers now. That's one way to look at it. You probably spent a lot of items in that battle. Use this to replenish your inventory. Oh, thanks. If you ever want to spar again, let us know. We've learned quite a bit. You got it! No. We'll just stab you in the back as you sleep instead. No, no, no. Do you say anything different now? No. How does the clone know he's a clone? I think we're getting a little too real now. He's become the new real Mario. All right, we just have a couple more requests left, like Rebecca's and Roy's, and then... You know what bugs you? What bugs you, Theta? Notice how I'm not making the very obvious this game joke. Do I need to really replenish that much of my items? I don't know if I'm gonna... I gotta throw a spider at something! I'm gonna fight something and throw a spider at it. Team Maki is considered the best team in Bagaria, not Team Snake Mouth. Are they still considered the best team in Bagaria? 
Really? Like, we haven't usurped their title? That's galling. Like, hello? We beat up the Wasp King. What did you do? Maki hit some dudes in the Swamplands, and then he hurt his leg. Oh, it's you youngins. Rebecca, you'll really go to the abandoned city? For what purpose? It may look a bit dreadful, but I have many great memories there. Won't you come with me? I have a tale or two to share. Absolutely not! Oh, hey. There is no way you're stepping outside this castle. Have you forgotten your age? No, that's not very kind. Please just go and, like, whack them in the shins with your cane and knock her over. These young and save the kingdom. I have nothing to fear. She's right about that. We promise to keep her safe. For a good pr- Ow! Not today! Wow, Kaboo. You, like, you- Pinched her cheek? Kicked her in the shins? What have we decided on? From, like, way over there. You know, he probably just thought about it really hard, and she took psychic damage. <laughs> Only if I go as well. Please, Rebecca. Oh, I'd love that. Let's get going, then. See you there, Team Snake Mouth. So if I put off the quest with Moon, the, um, the, uh, cricket, I think? With the tail that kind of looks like a cashew. Um, we needed that mask from the bandit's hideout. And the ladybug girl that I don't remember the name of. How many followers could we have? Ian wins over the crowd like cute cat videos. You know what, that's it. That is now why I think people still consider Team Maki to be the best team um, because of Ian specifically. I'm sure V is like, hello, I'm right here. I'm adorable. But nobody listens to her. They're just fawning over Ian. Okay, so Forsaken Lands, Abandoned City. Uh, Forsaken Lands is like the Termite Kingdom, right? Oh my goodness, I'm just... I'm just I'm having a moment here. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Um, would it be quicker to go from the outskirts, or quicker to go to the termite capital? She talks about an abandoned city, so presumably... I think the city with all the, um... The mitelings? Is that what they were called? Um, so maybe it'd be quicker to take the tunnels there. Time to fight even harder than Maki, but we're never going to be as cute as Yin. I mean, look at the little heart she's got in her forehead. It's cheating. He just looked at her and she took damage. Kabu just hits V with a disappointment stare. I mean, I would take damage. If somebody as sweet as Kabu looked at me in disapproval, do you know how gutting that would be? It is where I fought the false monarch. Okay, that's what I was thinking of. I don't have to, like, she just meets me there, right? Right? I know I just read it, but... Okay, okay, okay. Do I have Bug Me Not on? I don't think I do. I should... Yeah. Take something off. Er, okay. Good. I will throw it... Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna put it back. Uh, I'm gonna take it off again. We are gonna throw a spider at something, by golly. You wipe, like, twice or thrice in this fight. There's a fight coming up. Uh, do I need to redo my items? I had it in my head that Team Maki, Team Slacker, and the, uh... Oh, I forgot I didn't have the prevent first strike on. But anyway, I thought Team Maki, um, Team Slacker, and the cave boss were the only three super bosses. Okay. I'm just gonna... Oh, I didn't mean to turn relay. Crap, I meant to swap positions. Alright, alright. Oh, good, it lets you undo it, I guess. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you, Bug Fables. You're very kind to me. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this dude. 
no, no. It's a long fight? Oh, okay. I guess I have to go get some items then, huh? Uh, it's not gonna do much damage, but I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go to Kaboo. I'm gonna throw the spider so we can see it. Whoa. Never mind. You know what, Gotcha Pond Spider, you're alright. Have a good one, Joe. A leaf. Okay, I'm gonna fix my items and then come back here. I'm gonna do this by golly. Okay, so let's do a little inventory check. What do I need? So I've got tank pot chairs, I've got my miracle shakes. They're still pretty good. Um, I could take one more berry smoothie, I think, just to be safe. Maybe another stew? Um, so I'll just need one more tangy berry and danger leaf. So is it a similar setup as danger V? I never thought I thought I never thought of making leaf my primary damage dealer though. Um, I'm gonna get a tangy berry so I can make another smoothie. Just crushing all these smoothies. Sure, with extra protein and stuff like the bodybuilders. Kaboo probably works hard at building muscle, I'm sure. So, yeah, is Danger Leaf the same setup? It's weird to think of him as the, uh, the damage dealer. Give me a berry. Give Leaf all the damage and have him use Ice Rain. Huh, well, why not? Could be fun. So like there's a chef here. Like you won't cook for me, huh? I forgot about this cowboy bug. Was this some? Um, Cause I know there were some backer design bugs. Is this cowboy bug one of them? They just feel so specific, and I mean that in a good way. That I wouldn't be surprised if they were. Okay. Texas! It's a shame Carrie's not here. Carrie is, in fact, from Texas. I feel like the heat from Texas would kill me. Maybe not in the winter. But in the summer, I can't, I can't do high temperatures. Unlike the Beamerang, Ice Rain's damage doesn't scale, so he does more. It's just so expensive. Well, good thing I'm making a smoothie, then. I need a dark cherry, right? I gotta go to, to uh, the club. If I really wanted to, I would have broken out a really bad, strong, bad impression for that, but I won't. I could never do it justice. Oh, not you. Your teeth, sir. Give. Thank you. So, this is a discussion I had with some people. Uh, the other day. So, I can't remember if I brought it up on stream. Can Leaf get drunk? I might have brought that up during the cave stream. Just because of the way he metabolizes things. And the dev AMA said he couldn't get food poisoning because of the cordyceps. So, I wonder if that also works with how alcohol is metabolized. Because I mean, these bugs must be able to make alcohol, right? I feel like it's implied that berry juice has some alcoholic component to it. Um, and then we thought about, I think, a little bit what they would order. I feel like Leaf would get, like, a really fancy sweet cocktail that's so much fruit juice and probably, like, with three shots of something in it and he just wouldn't feel it. He cannot. Does he need to is the problem. I don't know, Leaf. Do you feel like you need to get drunk? Are you okay? Do you need to talk about it? The cordyceps break down alcohol, too. Well, there you go. Sorry, Leaf. You can't get crunk. Tragic. Let's take some more stew. Okay. Leaf drinking is not a good image. I mean, not like drinking to forget his problems. I just like the thought of Leaf drinking a fancy cocktail because 
you know, you can get something that's really sweet. Not my bag. I don't like sweet stuff. It's something really sweet with like a little paper umbrella and like one of those little plastic monkeys hanging off the side of the glass. Maybe like a couple of sparklers in there. I'm sure V would be jealous, but like you can't have it, V. It's a grown up drink. You wonder if it's the opposite. If Leaf is like a lightweight. Perhaps Leaf was a lightweight before everything. Okay. Um, so let's try Danger Leaf, why not? Um, sorry, V, I guess you're not our ultimate DPS anymore. Um, what else do I have equipped right now? Um, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Definitely gonna want that TP plus because it's so expensive. And I'll give this to Leaf too. Cocktails are okay. It's just like sad Leaf chugging. Oh wow. Or maybe chug it away is what you meant. But I thought a oh, wow is just in a sad noise. <laughs> I wouldn't want Leaf has probably gone through enough sad things, I would imagine. You think Kaboo is lightweight and V can outdrink anyone? I mean, a lot of muscle mass would allow you to metabolize alcohol easier. And Kaboo does have muscle, you know this. Um, hang on, where is... I just went right by power exchange, there we go. Oh. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I need to take something off. Oh, that's right, I had HP plus on you. Oh, that's five, though. I don't want to take the spy specs off, though. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. Let's see if we can make this work. You know what I should do, actually, is go make a cup of coffee. A coffee. To give Leaf. Start the battle out with. I think that would be fun. Um, but I also feel like Kaboo would generally have lightweight vibes, regardless of muscle mass. Um, I feel like he would have, like, a drink. He would have, like, one hangover and decide never again. Never again! Oh, God, is Venus! Spare me! I'm going to die! One of your favorite old Slayers fanfic is about a character with an anti-poison charm out drinking everyone in a competition. See, I, we also speculated about putting Leaf in a drinking contest, and Leaf not being aware of his abilities, the fact that he doesn't, uh, he metabolizes alcohol so quickly that it has no effect on his body. I'm just gonna store a couple of these for a second. Um, and then, like, realizing partway through the competition that, oh, he don't seem to be feeling anything. And then carrying on regardless without saying anything, like pushing his advantage. Or maybe just, not necessarily to cheat, but to test his abilities. V can have beer, just non-alcoholic beer, though. I feel like she wouldn't like the taste. I wonder, I like to think if, I don't know if more bees are French or French adjacent because of Jean and Violet, which was confirmed in the devs AMA. It is the French pronunciation Violet, so woohoo, I did it. Um, okay, let's take a couple more things out of the inventory. Um, I wonder if the bees make like honey wine because French. Okay, here we go. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. All right, uh, let's do the thing, shall we? Um, we're all healed. I think we're good. I think my badges are okay. Metals. We'll find out. V would try a beer because she's not a kid! But it tastes real bad and she never wants another. That's that's how you put off a kid from drinking, is just make them try it and have them decide it's gross. Or like, I know, I know people who like, you know, at special occasions, their parents would let them have like a little sip of wine, you know, to remove the mystery. And they would decide, oh, this kind of sucks, actually, I don't want it. Okay, I'm just gonna take, not that, because it's gonna lower our TP. I'm gonna take this off temporarily, so I can put on Bug Me Not. 
We're gonna go to the abandoned city. But that made Leaf would not feel the effects of caffeine either. Okay, I only kind of remember where it is, so. Let's see. Come on. Yeah. No, he would not. It could be good or bad, depending on your perspective. Um, not being able to feel the effects of caffeine. So you can enjoy coffee as much as you want without feeling the effects, but... Oh, heck. Oh, this isn't the right way. Is it to the, the city? No, this is to the... Spiders. Um, no, city is further this way, I think. Yeah, his body is technically dead, so... I think it's in this room? Maybe, maybe? I know a lot of people who just drink- oh, that's not the right ability- who just drink coffee for the buzz. Which, I don't blame them. I've had really good coffee, and once you've had really good coffee, it's hard to have anything else, honestly. Ah, oh, really? When you were a tiny boy, your dad kept trying to turn you away from drinking by giving you a sip. But you were too pure and kept saying no. Ah, I have a recollection of doing the same thing because uh, I'm a goody two shoes, and I'm like, no, it's a, it's a grown up drink, as my parents would always say. I can't do that. Can you even heal wounds? You're pretty sure the cordy can repair it. I like calling it the cordy. I'm going too far. Oh, uh, it was in the giant room back there. Whoops. Oh, well, we're here now. Ha ha! It's been a while. Is there anything behind these rocks? I don't think so. I've already broken them, right? Yeah. Um... Oh, I can go south? Okay. Coffee is for the caffeine, not the taste. Look, there's really good coffee out there, but... Uh... Okay, not here. Back to the right. Um, yeah, it's not great when you have bad coffee. Uh, I remember when the one time... Uh, I keep doing that. I got to go on a nice cruise. It was like the first real vacation I've ever been on. Um, they had really good coffee there. It's not like south here, is it? No. Um... Like, to the point where it was so good I would drink it instead of tea. I would go to the, uh, the VIP breakfast lounge really early in the morning by myself. And, but yeah, this room extends further past uh, this way, I remember now. And I would deliberately order, uh, like, a French press of coffee, which I would never usually do. It's usually just tea for me, but it was so good! They've become more human-like after the Awakening. I'm reading this out of order. These are bugs, so is alcohol more poisonous to them? I mean, maybe it depends on how much they consume. Since they're more human-like. Is it up here? Boy, I really don't remember. Oh, here we go. Perfect. There you are. Okay, so I guess we're gonna try Danger Leaf today. No, I have the hiccups. Good. Very good. Time for the real final boss. A part of me thinks you're just pulling my leg and it's gonna be a joke encounter. But let's find out. The leaf's turn to be dangerous. Good grief. This place is harrowing. Um, do you really like this place? Um, Miss Rebecca? That was it. We shared so many meals here. You both crossed this place? Every day I tried just a little harder with my plumpling pies. This place may seem barren, but it was our lovely camp. That's kind of hard to imagine.
Because I feared. Oh dear. Stay close to us! Here we go! I'll assist you as well. You are not. Oh good. You died more times here than any other fight. Holy smokes, why are you buffed to infinity and beyond? Uh... Is she making pumpkin pie? Your soul. Well, plumpling pie. I'm sure it's close enough. Alright. Do your thing, buddy. I should prioritize the little ones, actually. Ah! With the awakening, didn't all bugs basically lose a pair of legs? That would be weird. Not all of them. Not all of them were fully affected by the awakening, like spiders and scorpions. Yeah, there was a mention of some are still... Um... I was gonna say primitive, but it's not quite it. But yeah, it's still kind of like in their, their larval, larval stage and all that. Heck, okay, let's just do it again. Oh, cripes! Thank you. No, I'm guarding too late. No, that was too early. Um, I don't know what I want to do here. I do need to use like an item on leaf at some point to get the uh, the danger strats going. Well, let's just get some TP back for now. Pumpkin pie, snail pie, what's the difference? Butterscotch snail pie. Sorry, butterscotch cinnamon snail pie. Ugh, they just keep coming! Well, at least Donut gets to contribute. Oh, you jump! See, why can't the rest of you do that? I wonder if you can't summon any little ones since it's kind of crowded in here now. Hmm. I feel like using a queen's... Uh, dinner would be a little overkill, but that way I would get leaf poisoned. So we can keep doing the thing. Yeah, why not? And they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. Theta, how dare you make that clever callback. There was a game I saw. This was forever ago, and Vine saw streamed. Um... I don't remember. I think it was called The Fantastic Game. And there's just some point where, like, you approach an egg or a bunch of eggs. It's fuzzy, but I just remember the one part of All Star looped endlessly. Um, uh, so much to do, so much to see, so much to do, so much to see, so much to do, so much to see, so much. And it's just, I don't know, hypnotic and unsettling at the same time. Dead. Okay. Had a girl. I'm so proud. We are ending a species, boys. Okay. Let's see. What do I want to do here? Hmm. Did I not equip the thing where items poison him? Or maybe the queen's dinner didn't count. You did say these things become way more dangerous. You weren't kidding! Okay, 
can't quite get both of them, I guess. Mm. Oh, is that the last one? So much to do, so much to see, so much to do, so much to see. Executive dysfunction be like, ugh, too real. Too real! Thank you, sweethearts. How scary. Ugh. Was this risk truly worth it, Rebecca? Of course. Even if you can't hear, Rebecca, we should head back. I didn't get to finish my tale. Won't you hear me out for a little while longer? Eh, we're already here, so... Before Queen Elizabeth was put to sleep, she said, See you soon, my friend. Or so I hope. Ellie is a wonderful queen. She really is her mother's daughter. When I heard she destroyed the everlasting sapling, it took me some days to finally accept it. Elizabeth won't be sharing any more meals with me. Rebecca, we're sorry. If it wasn't for the Wasp King, why did you never share these burdens? You always seem so happy. <laughs> I am happy. After all, I'm sure she would be happy. I'm so proud of Ellie, too. Do you understand why I needed to return? Yes, this is a proper way to pay your respects. We're glad we could come. We needed this, too. Thank you, Rebecca. I won't hold you here any longer. I'm very grateful. So am I. Team Snakemouth, please take this. Oh, nice. We should, um, go back. You can tell us a lot more stuff at the palace. Yeah, we'd like that. I'll lead the way, then. Bye, my dear queen. Oh, jeez. Everybody paying their respects. Well, not V. She has never been respectful once in her life. But these other two. Jeez. I love this little family, this gremlin child and her two uncles. Oh, dear. I missed a whole war? You all protected Ellie, didn't you? Thank you. Ah, Can we get some Fs? <laughs> what are we putting an F in the chat for? <laughs> What's going on? Okay, I think it's just Roy now, isn't it? Yeah. The Star Wars. I'll be with Queen Vanessa. Okay, so... He's in the Deadlands, right? Or... Where is Queen Vanessa hanging out? She's not hanging out here, is she? J. <laughs> one J in the chat. Your finger slipped. You had one job. Oh, there's an item in here? What are you keeping from me? Leaf, was my mother as great of a queen as I remember? Yeah. But we dare say you've come close to matching her grace. Thank you. I will take those words to heart. Mother has earned her rest. I pray she will always watch over us. We hope you'll watch over Bulgaria for years to come, too. Ah. Uh, the glass art of the stained glass. Oh, right! I forgot discoveries also count um, on your radar. that boy is outside the refrigerator. Team Snake Mouth, you have earned my respect. May your explorations always bear fruits. Thank you. What is her name again? Zariant. The Royal Guard is truly an imposing figure. With a name like that, it's like it was decided from birth. I mean, wasn't it? Ants are weird. I'm not an expert, but she does seem quite different. Maybe it's genetics? We're probably better off not knowing. V, you can't talk, you're a bee. 
Me Neo. Ugh! I'm glad Peace is back. It's a shame you couldn't study the sapling. I won't say I'm not disappointed, but just proving its existence is a great discovery. Thanks for everything, Team Snake Mouth. I wish we got to learn more about you, Neo. You can look at the tree we left, right? A glass window of Queen Leia II and King Hector IV, rulers of the termites. No, oh, forgot. A glass window of Elizabeth II, Queen of the Ants. A glass window of Bianca, Queen of the Bees. Oh, Bianca! I didn't realize that was her name. That's a cute name. A glass window of Vanessa I, Queen of the Wasps. J and F are across the keyboard. You're a typist. Both use the index finger. Different index fingers, though. This should be part 21. Oh, I didn't change the... I didn't change the description on Twitch. I knew I forgot something. Ah, heck. I'll fix it after. Eh, whatever. You know, before I started the stream, I was going nuts thinking, there's something I forgot to do. Oh, turn in discoveries. I will do that. Does anybody remember where Vanessa is? If she would be in the Wasp Kingdom, or if they're just in... The Deadlands, because I don't remember. Oh, you're not... Sorry, you're not the... You're the rude one. I have 50. Uh-huh. Yay. Wow! 50 discoveries! You're all true explorers! <laughs> Get ready for the next reward! Well, not really. That's kind of all we had. Huh? The Queen's budget covered ten rewards. The program's complete. It feels like forever. But we did it. Well, without rewards, V ain't gonna donate anything else. That's fine. You've all helped so much. Thank you. Well, it was pretty good while it lasted. V, please read a book. In the Wasp Kingdom, okay. I like it when Leaf talks so casually like that, like, whelp. Like, he's so old, and he's been out of touch with society and going the wrong way for so long. But, um... Which one was this again? The Rubber Prison? Yeah, okay. Um, he's so out of touch, but... Then you get that. You wouldn't come back either if there was no reward. The reward was the friends we made along the way, right? V has big read-only required books for free Book It Pizza energy. I What is Book It Pizza? There's not a thing we have here. I know there's no need to patrol, but I can't help it. Oh, can we go inside now? Novel. Such beautiful flora. I wish the Elder had come with us. You cannot sell, equip, nor beat a boss with friendship. Hey, hey, Kaboo beat a boss with friendship. Remember the beast? And he powered up, he hung on, with like a fraction of health left, and powered up prote to protect his friends and avenge his other friends. Hey, Queen Vanessa's authorized others to pass, so... All right then. Kaboo beat the boss with the power of rage. Rage and friendship, right? The usurper caused unmeasurable damage to our community. We must stay united if we're to recover. V sells the most candy bars at a fundraiser. Oh, she would. Absolutely. Like, just to get the stupid reward at the end. Like, oh, if you sell the most, you get a free hat. That's V. Those prisons held so many innocent. I hope we can make amends. That's sad. It's a... Finish a book. School gave you a ticket. Turn it in a pizza hut or other place for a free pizza. What? You get a whole pizza for finishing a book? That sounds exploitable. I mean, I read a lot. Book It is a program by Pizza Hut to encourage reading. You get a chart and track your reading and earn personal pan pizzas. Obviously, they canceled it by, uh, because of kids like me who would just break the system. Oh, it's my heroes! We see you've come back to your homeland. Yep, nothing beats home. When it's at peace, anyways. You gonna keep selling stew? It's super good. 
Yep, it really is my passion. It will be our pleasure to keep eating it. <laughs> Help yourselves, my heroes. Rangers, come for some stew? 20 berries. Hero discount. Ah, uh, well, I'll be around. Come by any time if you want some. I don't know why only Jade has that voice, but there you go. Ugh, now that everything's over, we should probably tell her. And lose the discount? No way! Kabu, at this point, we're actual heroes. Is there a point? It's a matter of principle! Kabu, I love you. It's just goody two-shoes. So, what's wasp culture like? You know, we're not sure. Because they've been closed off for so long, I figured they were very violent. Doesn't seem like it, right? Hopefully we can learn more about them, now that there's peace. A small pizza. Remind you of a Sword Art Online abridged quote. What is the quote? I am only tangentially familiar with Sword Art Online, but I want to know the quote. Same paddle? Same paddle. A pizza's a pizza, give me the book. All those times sitting in a freezing Pizza Hut lobby waiting for that sweet, sweet free personal pan? We can only let you access these halls for now, but make yourselves comfortable. I'm just gonna flop over on the carpet, thanks. The usurper left our structures very uncared for. It will take time to make them presentable. Uh, so I don't get to drive one of your tanks, is what you're saying. That sucks. Oh, hey, it's, um... I don't remember your names. Like, sister and her wasp boyfriend. Uh, I'm glad sis is doing fine. I gotta start thinking of moving, though. Can't be a third wing forever. Oh, I think this is just their old dialogue. Well, not this. The royal halls are some good stuff. Hopefully we can get a house soon, though. Oh, you're moving in together? That's cute. Well, let's be patient, Rebel. We'll live together soon. Good luck, you two. There is a scene where Asuna and Kirito ran into a secret endgame boss below the tutorial level. Ah, no clip. Oh, hey, it's you! <laughs> they let me in! I can hang around wasps all day! Are you okay? I'm glad peace has come to the Wasp Kingdom. Otherwise, I'd worry for her. Hopefully she doesn't get thrown into prison again. Just give it time. We owe you so much. But do behave in front of the Queen. Yeah, V, I'm looking at you. Queen Vanessa would be most pleased to see you. Your mom and you always made it a big night out because Pizza Hut was very fancy in your small town. I haven't been to a Pizza Hut in, like, well over a decade, I'm sure. The Lost Kingdom's working closely with our people to exchange information. Although, truth be told, we're benefiting way more from it. Team Snake Mouth! The Queen's friends are our friends. Oh yeah, hang on, I gotta... We're glad our ruler's words weren't empty. The roaches have found where to settle. Who wouldn't want to take them in? They're the long-lost bugs! Well, when you put it that way... V says that with the air of someone who could, like, exploit it. Like, come pay and see the long-lost roach civilization! 25 berries, roll up, roll up! Oh, same thing. I can't get used to them being all nice now. <sighs> Give it time. Took us some time to get used to you two. Oh, sorry. Took us some to get used to you too. Oh, just digging up. Oh, hey, General Ultimax. And then they told another character, Don't worry, we'll beat it with the power of love. They almost instantly died, and a bridge cutie toe goes something like, The power of love is BS. The power of swords and violence. That's where the bunny is. It is not wrong. I guess I'm gonna talk to you first. I would like to apologize for everything. I hope you'll find I'm a reasonable bug. And thank you, Leaf, for only freezing me and not something worse. Fuff's a pretty chill guy, huh? Wait, his name is Fuff? I thought it was General Ultimax. Or is that just a title? Or is Ultimax's last name? Hopefully we can leave General Ultimax behind and work together from now on. He doesn't seem to resent us, thankfully. 
I mean, you spared his life, so he kind of owes you, right? Team Snake Mouth, I owe you and all the kingdoms a great debt. Nah. You saved us with the flame brooch. Speaking of, we've come to return it. You're too kind. I was fully prepared to entrust it to you. It's the Wasp Kingdom's heirloom. It's not something for us to own. Thank you, but it could still prove useful in your journey. Might you protect it just a bit longer? There's no rush. Queen Vanessa! Very well. You can count on us. You've reminded me. This isn't much, but... Please accept it in the name of our recovering kingdom. Oh, nice! Whoa! Whoa! Thanks! Good luck with everything, Queen. You've got your work cut out for you. I'll be alright. And I know I can count on you if anything happens. Indeed! Don't hesitate to come to us! We're famous now. Boy, V, you really gotta, like, chill when you're talking to a ruler. No wonder he goes by Ultimax. V had no idea they were planning to return it. Queen Vanessa has retaken control of the kingdom. We may never know how the Wasp King just hypnotized everyone. Creepy stuff. Well, everyone's back to normal, right? That's all that matters. You swear the only reason they let you keep it is so you can fight Hologram Wasp King uh, with it making sense why you can suddenly survive the fire. Not just because we've been torched so much, we've formed enough blisters to be heatproof. He's still not wearing pants. He doesn't need pants. I mean, nobody else has pants. Unless, like, Donut's wearing pants, or, like, just a stocking, and you can't see the details. Team Snake Mouth, I received a report that Roy's quest was taken. I heard you saved my people. Thank you. And our people as well. You will always have our gratitude. It was nothing! Come on, it was really something! How can we help? Our botanists have been working together. We're ready to test planting crops in the Deadlands. Is it a good idea? One day, the Deadlands could be filled with life. There's no way I'll give up on that dream. Count on us! Yeah! It's gonna work for sure! With the trials you've faced, I have no doubt you'll be safe. Shall we go then? We're headed towards the cold behemoth's entrance. Well, you're just- you're here now, okay. Should've tattled him, I didn't. This room brings back memories, although not very pleasant ones. It's okay, we can make better ones now. Ever the optimist, but we agree. I mean, we already established that you're an Optimus Leaf. You can't make fun of her for it. He needs to be agile, Ryfan, that's right. No pants, only speed. Hat, epaulets, no pants. Just like that, roaches come back into the fold. Nia was raving to me earlier. There's so much we can learn from them. <laughs> and they get to learn from us, too. Like capitalism. The stock market! Investment banking! That's enough, V. Donut's wearing very high pants. Okay, um... Let me just go here. All the way back to the fridge. Come on, Cranky. Take it to the fridge. Walnuts, peanuts. Pineapple smells, grapes, melons, oranges, and coconut shells. That's like the William Shatner edition of it. Hey, can somebody like take footage of Donut and then just dub it over with, um, Take On Me? Like that one vine. Hey, uh, are the, the eyes still here? We're like in good health and stuff, right? Uh, yeah, no, we're not. Venus! Just stand over there, Roy. It's fine. Don't mind us just talking to this flower and having it like sneeze on us. It reminds me a little bit of um, 
when we did the whole quest with take the shortcut to the roach village oh that's right the uh the there's a basket somewhere wasn't there where is it or is it in the next room i really don't remember i'm gonna hope it's in the next room but i'm thinking about um Back when we did Lee's request and we talked to his descendants. Um, and that was also when we were escorting Moon. So we get outside and Moon is just standing there. Oh, you're still here. Where's the shortcut? Where's the shortcut? Where's the shortcut? Cripes, is it in the other room? Eh, excuse me. Excuse me, maybe it's in the other room. You have no idea where the shortcut is. Oh, good. Well, we'll find it. I'm just gonna double check and really make sure it's not in this room somewhere. So I never took it back. I didn't have to. So, wait, I hope that somehow means I'm locked out of using it. I don't see it in here. Oh! You didn't see that before, did you, Oak? Well, uh... Pass the soda can? This soda can? Or the one in the next room? Or this soda can? Oh, there is an opening! Oh! Okay, woof! Good. Explain! Well, hey, you know what? That's good, because Oak did not see the eye last time. Um, explain. Uh, there is no explanation. <laughs> There really isn't. It doesn't tell you what it is. You can't tattle or examine it. It's just terrifying. What is it? I don't know. The devs won't tell us. Okay, that's... That's nothing new. Let's see if the Elder has anything new to say. There's just an eye. And hands! Don't forget hands, because it has to drop that thing on you. Oh, the Elder's gone. Like a reverse crane game. Yeah, just okie dokie. It might be human skeletal remains mutated. Horrifically mutated. What is this? Oh, that's a mystery berry, I see. Flame rock? All right. Um. Oh, elder is at the tree, okay. It gives you prizes. Terrible prizes, hey. Even after the commotion, the constructs are still too high. I guess they won't be calming down for a while. Uh, I guess I should probably put on, uh, bug me not. I gotta hope that it works on these things. They might not now, but I mean, we're max level. You've already beaten the Wasp King, so uh, thank goodness. That would have been a lot more irritating. It works now. I didn't, I know it didn't work before. Ah! I walked off. Looking at chat. Theta, you gotta sleep soon. You don't need nightmares. Don't worry about it, Oak. Maybe they're benevolent and they're dropping those weird crab spider monsters on, uh, monsters on us uh, for enrichment? Like we're animals in a cage somewhere? Sure. It feels like the soundtrack, you can faintly hear breathing, which is a cool effect. Is the title different since nothing's on fire? The magic that we felt here once is now gone. So the sapling and the king are truly... Come on, let's look around for a bit. It's not touched on much, but I like that V is very uncomfortable when anybody gets too serious, especially these two. Um, like, uh, she just doesn't know what to do with it. Which makes a lot of sense, because, you know, like, what do you do if a grown-up is sad and you're just a teenager? Uh, you don't know. No, okay. Still kind of bum the sapling's gone. We worked really hard to find it. It may be for the best, V. An era of searching for great power has concluded. Uh-huh. Hey, Leaf, are you sure there was no magic in the tree at all? Ugh. <sighs> We're sure. We felt some in the seed the king ate, but that's gone now. Come, let us leave this place. There's nothing left for anyone in this cursed land. Probably lock the tree back up? Don't worry about it, it's a sequel hook. 
Is the elder like the Roach Queen? Oh, we did this one already. And then we talked about beetle democracy. Democracy. Hey. Elder? Are you alright? Yes. I was merely pondering. Even though it was supposed to be everlasting, the sapling still wilted. Were our ancestors wrong then? Did they not manage to create an eternal plant? Um, I mean, it is pretty dark here, and the sapling was stuffed inside that thingy. Hmm. We suppose the sapling still requires sunlight, despite it being undying otherwise. I see. That does make sense. It makes me wonder. Would the king then be unstoppable if you fought him in daylight? He did burn through the sapling's power fast, and that, in the end, consumed him. But would he have been truly unstoppable outside? All in all, we were lucky to have that happen. If that was indeed a possibility, it is great that we managed to stop him when we could. Still, did our ancestors really not consider that option? Sorry for keeping you around. There's so much to think about. Who knows what would have happened if that board blocking the window breaks and sunlight touches the tree? Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, where the heck is Roy again? The cold mod. Oh, the fridge. That's right. I even said, come on, Cranky, take it to the fridge, and then forgot. Yes, bug lady, you cannot create energy out of, out of nothing. That's right. It's just basic law of thermodynamics. It's not like giant breathing monsters is your number one fear. That siren head trend scared you for a month. Siren head? What is a siren head? I find creepy pastas on the ilk very interesting, although I think I've touched on a previous stream. They're very rarely done well. I, I like creepypastas a lot in theory, but they're often written so melodramatically. My favorite ones are the ritual ones, where they're not like a first-hand account of, and then everything was blood and a skeleton popped out, but they're like, oh, if you do these steps, you can summon a ghost or a demon or catch a glimpse into, you know, another world or whatever. Those are the cool ones. World War II tor tornado warning sirens. Yeah, yeah, those. Sonic.exe, come on. See, that's a bad one. It's just like jump scares, blood, 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 hyper realistic eyes. Like Doki Doki Literature Club. That actually did it well, though. Ah, oh, fridge. Let me in, fridge. I'm just gonna make sure he's not like in front of here and I just missed him. No. Oh, hey! It's a die. I've been in here. You reek of our old kind. You've seen what has become of them, right? When our ancestors took the sapling away, the other roaches tried to recreate it. I can only imagine it didn't end well. And I don't pity them. They had it coming. Nothing to say, Leaf? Really? Hmm. Maybe he's just holding his tongue. That bit is a giant pull monster with the sirens going. Unfortunately, someone stole the artist's original concept for spin-offs. Ah! That sucks. Ben Drowned was a good time. Ben Drowned, I think, was also overwrought. I mean, I'm not judging, though. I get finding fun in it. You know what? I've, like, I've seen games corrupted in ways that screw up their music and graphics and I think could make them genuinely creepy. I feel like creepypastas should try leading into that. You like Ben Drown only because of the edited footage? Oh yeah, the effort they put into it was really cool. It's like the, um, the NES Godzilla creepypasta. Like, I think it kind of fell off after a bit, but they did uh, put like a lot of work into sprite edits and whatnot, which is pretty neat. <laughs> oh yeah, you can you can call her boogie. Uh, Roy, where is our boy? He said in front of the behemoth, right? Oh, here we go. Hmm. 
After so much work, we may yet live to see crops in these plains. Don't let us hold you up. We're pretty excited too. Yeah, and don't forget the- Oh, it wasn't Kabu this time. Oh, hey. Why are these beasts here? Do they want these seeds? Never! Let's beat them up! Good plan. Oh, it's just you guys again, huh? Um, let's see. The middle one has to go. Uh, because I think that one was the worst. Although, actually, no, the crab is really bad, too, because they can fully stun. Dang it. We're not really kitted out for this, but that's fine. Oh, that's all I wanted to do. That's right, I don't have all the stuff equipped on her anymore that makes her super powerful. Well, whatever. Um... Mm. This thing still needs to go, so... The Lavender Town ones, like, Buried Alive and the ones surrounding the Lavender Town song. What was the Buried Alive one? Like, they made a little fan game with that one, right? With the unknown spelling out stuff in their party and the dead Pokemon. I like the the ones surrounding the Lavender Town song, just because, like, the ones that are done in a way that sounds like they could be true, again, sort of like the ritual creepy bosses. I think those are the best ones. That have that sort of, I mean, what if feeling to them. Well, I don't think that's gonna kill. She's not super OP anymore. I'm so sad. Oh, I'm gonna taunt. You like Lavender Town a lot, so the creepypasta never worked for you? Yeah, same. I mean, I thought the music was really cool. It has like a neat reverb effect on the Game Boy, the music. But I think the creepypastas are just interesting as a concept. Uh, I forgot the timing for that. And that was way too soon. Goodbye. Boom. You will be missed. Um, I will have Leaf uh, revive him. Right now, this thing really needs to die. Apparently, there's data for a cut boss at the top of Pokemon Tower. Really? Unless you're leading into another creepy pasta, which is still cool. You hung up there a lot. Nothing ever happened. Yeah. I guess if I still have all that stuff on Leaf, maybe I should use him as an attacker more. The data is real. Ooh. You know what? Taunting was not a good idea, because now he's just freaking dead. Again. Sorry, Kaboo. But that's fine. I can acquire more, uh, Miracle Shakes. So whatever. Uh, let's see. It's a little trickier to think about what I want to do, since I don't have... Danger me here. Hmm. So I don't want to taunt. Because that's just going to end poorly. Mm. Do that again. Can we kill this thing? You're doing your best, V. There you go. See ya. It's hard to guard that when it's like right in front of you. 
He was supposed to have a Gengar, a Muck, and two unique Pokemon that were a giant decayed monster hand looking thing. Heck yeah, a model of a zombie called Buried Man. Buried Man? Something like that. That's cool though. That stuff is my jam. Mm. Yeah, let's heal. Why not? It's... Here's the poison, but whatever. Mm. Oops. Okay. Um. What the heck is it? Let's just do it again. Play it again, B. Maybe uh, the frozen drill would have been—that was the wrong button—would have been better. I think that's okay. Wait, I thought I did. Did I not do turn relay? I thought V would still get her turn despite the uh, group attack. Oh well, whatever. You doubt that last part is real. Yeah, that sounds too over the top, but cool regardless. It was wise to test outside of the village. Will more come? We don't know. Perhaps, as you said, this is a terrible idea. You can't give up now! You've got to try! Roy, even if it's risky, it's your dream, isn't it? Here goes nothing. Yeah, that was fast. You're like Maki setting up camp. <laughs> well, they do take time to grow, you know? All we can do now is pray. I'm sure it'll work. And if it doesn't, we'll try again. You can't lose hope. Not here. Thank you. The queen gave me this, but I truly wish to give it to you. Oh, could use that sooner. I'll stay here, overseeing your growth. I promise to run if there's any danger. You can do it! Thank you. The future seems much brighter now. Ah, uh, Was that the last quest? Jeez. Forgot about that. Let's eat it. Even if it's the original Pokemon, a game over makes no sense. Oh, I, I meant over the top is finally fresh meat sounds over the top. Dang. I guess that's- is that really the last quest? What do you mean I don't have this, this record? I noticed even though I have this on Steam, it doesn't show my achievements on my account. I mean, I could still do all that, but... I still do the hard mode stuff, uh, stuff, but I think I'll do that on my own because I feel like just a series of boss rushes wouldn't be that interesting. Dang, is this really the last Bug Fable stream? Man, I'm sad. Why don't I have the complete game Chivo unlocked? What the heck is up with that? We never used the bed bug. I was just stashing it in my inventory, secretly thinking if I used it, uh, somehow the bed bug would steal our junk and run away. There is an ex-boss rush, that's true, but I feel like watching another boss rush wouldn't be that interesting. I mean, I'm gonna do it on my own time, but... Plus it's already late, and yeah, that's it. There's no more quests. Jeez! Jeez! Well, I am going to eat these berries. Kaboo's always taunting, so... It's over! Ugh. I'm emotionally compromised. Jeez. Really? 
Man, I guess it is. Where? Well, thank you everyone so much for joining me for this wonderful game. I have had a fantastic time streaming it. I don't want to let it go. It's made me so happy. Um, we were unprepared. Back to Persona for Golden. Good luck, Theta. You feel depressed? Oh, me too! Oh, I'll definitely revisit it again in the future. At least on my own time. Um, maybe in a few years we'll revisit it again. Um, gosh, I usually take a day off um, between streams. But I think maybe I'll stream Friday, because I can go a little later on Friday, and then I'm going to take next Tuesday off. Um, so hopefully I'll have another game ready to go by then, even if it's just a little one-off. Gotta keep playing it on my own and report anything interesting. I mean, I can just do bonus content where I, like, read all the tattles that we didn't see. But I don't know how interesting that would be. The sole known user of healing magic, which we didn't really get to see. Sorry. It'll be up to Maki to raise her into upstanding citizen. Her favorite food is the sweet shroom. Alright, I guess we get a spin-off where Maki is her uncle. Anyway, yeah. It is a lot of reading. One last Nebo. Ah, uh, Nero isn't here! Nebo! But for you. Nebo! Never forget. Well, gosh, I'll catch you guys on Friday with another game. Thank you so much, everybody. It's been a real treat streaming Bug Fables. And I'm really happy for the wonderful audience I've had. So please take care, stay safe, stay healthy. I'll catch you next time. I love this family, you guys. Good night. <laughs>